How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ace. Today, I'm once again joined by Hermione. Hello! <laughs> and today, we are checking out Jeff Castellucci doing a cover of Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers. So, we actually checked out a performance with Jeff last year. It was the This Is Halloween video from Voice Play. And Ooh, okay. This is him by himself. He, he does uh, some solo stuff as well. So uh, a little refresher about him. He, he's been in voice play, I believe, since 1997. And from what I can tell, he's been doing some solo stuff for about four years or so. If I remember correctly, Ain't No Sunshine is a Bill Withers song from like 1971, I believe. Sounds right. I haven't heard the whole song all the way through, I don't think. Maybe I have, and it's been a while. Can't 100% remember. But the parts that I do remember, if Jeff does what I think he's going to do, I think it's going to be fantastic. And like we have the, the video pulled up right now, and it looks like he might be doing the thing where he's got four of himself. Or maybe it's him and three of his brothers is kind of the joke that I make. But I, I, I think it's going to be fantastic, and I'm looking forward to it. So I said we go ahead and get started if you're ready. Let's do it. Cool, cool. Before we do, though, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's cool. It's free. It tells me I'm doing the right thing, going in the right direction, all those good things. Don't forget to check out the description of the video as well. There's a lot of cool things in there. All our socials are in there. You can go over there and say hi. Yellow. If you're interested in supporting the channel and getting a priority request in, you can check out the Buy Me Coffee link. The link to the video we're reacting to is also in there. And without further ado, Jeff Castellucci, Ain't No Sunshine. Here we go. She's gone, and this house just ain't no home. Anytime she goes away, anytime, anytime she goes away. Awesome how he's able to go from the lowest of lows to as high as he goes. Like it's just and he does it just like that. And it's so seamless and it's so good. That that's some cool jumps. I don't know what to call it to call exactly, but I feel like that's a jump. <laughs> it, it's definitely yeah. a jump, yeah. Range. Like just the the range. Yeah, his vocal range is insane. Like I I've heard him, you know, do the the bass that he does, and it's it's incredible how low he can go. And then, like, I don't often get to hear him like go as high as he's going, and his singing voice is is very good as well. Like, I like when when he does sing with voice play, you know, like it, it's often harmonized with other members of voice play. So isolating his actual vocal. And, and trying to hear that is isn't the easiest thing to do 
and I, I think that's what makes it great here is because we're we're able to actually hear it and like it's it's so good. I really like the atmosphere that it's set up like she's gone and that's why it's so empty, but mm-hmm. he's like, where is she? And like, yeah, the the visual here, it's like I'm out I'm like kinda like out of my mind, like she's over here, I'm mm-hmm. over here here but she's still not there yeah he's kind of just going with the motions because like it's just that emptiness feeling that you know when when somebody leaves i i, I don't know if if in in this scenario i don't know if somebody just left or if somebody had passed away because like he he has a tie that's untied and he's kind of just casual he's not like all dressed up or anything so it could be he got off work or he could be back from a funeral. That's fair, yeah. I don't know if it's just like they're a broken apart or he's actually gone, gone. Anytime she's gone away, so it is something that she leaves. She has left the building for, you know, days at a time or weeks at a time or something. Something's wrong and she has to go away. Like, I don't know if they're like officially broken up or something. She, she's not having it whatever is happening they're they're having a, a rocky relationship basically yeah i i can i can understand that i can i can definitely hear that I was inspired to write the song after watching the 1962 movie days of wine and roses he explained in reference to the characters played by lee remick and jack lemon they were both alcoholics who were alternatively weak and strong it's like going back for seconds on rat poison sometimes you miss things that weren't particularly good for you it's just something that crossed my mind from watching that movie and probably something else that happened in my life that I'm not aware of. So, I mean, he I, there could have been something that happened in his life and he like blocked it out. Which happens, yeah. But yeah, I mean, th- he's doing a fantastic job with this performance. I definitely need to hear the rest of it if you're ready. Ready. All right. So here we go. One, no, one, no. Hello, one, no, one, no, one, no. I mean, just he, he has such a powerful voice and like just how he's able to utilize it. I, I didn't realize how well he actually sang until I saw this performance. Like it's wow. I'm I'm kind of just blown away. And I, I think, you know, because like he's alone in the house here and there's four of them. He's kind of like maybe kind of imagining people there so he doesn't feel so alone. Possible. Or- it also could be, you know, like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's like there in some movies when, you know, you're kind of just going through the motions and they kind of fade you into the next. Uh, right. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I'm just going to how to explain that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have like in my head, I can I can see it. But verbally, it's just word vomit. And I have no idea how to get it out. I but, thought that that kind of worked, though. Like, I was like, I know what you're saying. Because I was try- I was seeing it, but I couldn't mm-hmm. figure out how to make that happen yeah <laughs> with words so yeah it I could be either one of those situations i mean it could be a myriad of things honestly and i could be way off you never know <laughs> but that's kind of that's kind of the impression that i got is one like one of those two i'm, I'm just blown away like i'm, I'm kind of speechless this was so so good i'm glad we were able to check this out it's a good deal yeah so yeah jeff castellucci if y'all have any suggestions or anything we should know about definitely drop those in the comments below we'd love to check those out don't forget to like and subscribe it's cool it's free. It tells me I'm doing the right thing, going in the right direction, all those good things. Don't forget to check out the description of the video as well. There's a lot of cool things in there. Our socials are in there. You over there and say hi. Hello. 
the release schedule. I always drop on the socials a couple days early, so if you would like a sneak peek as to what's coming out the following week, that's the best way to do that. If you're interested in supporting the channel and getting a priority request in, you can check out the Buy Me Coffee link. Each request is only $5 and it helps me out a bunch. The link to the video we reacted to is also in there. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment hashtag Bill Withers. I think that's it for this reaction. Check you out in the next one. Bye, guys.